In custody, after hours of searching, investigators tracked down a local man wanted for questioning in the death of his wife. Thanks for joining us for the News at 5. I'm Meg McLeod. And I'm David Custer. Police called to a home in Saginaw Township on Lamplighter Drive, finding a woman dead inside. Investigators quickly launched a search to find the woman's husband, and now he's in jail awaiting formal charges. Tonight, a family member opens up to TV5's James Felton about what she believes led up to the crime. I never thought they'd do something like this. Deja Parker talking about her father, Lonnie Mitchell. Police are seeking murder charges against Mitchell for the death of his wife, Shantina Davenport Mitchell. She was found dead in the couple's Saginaw Township home Wednesday. Parker tells us she just spoke with Shantina on Monday. Shantina just started telling me how, like, he'd been, like, not himself lately and that she don't want him back in the house and stuff like that. Parker tells us the pair had a troubled marriage. She also said her dad was taking medication. I'm not going to say he crazy, but like he take medication just to be right in the head. Like, some, no, like, I don't know. It's like I'm shocked, but then I'm not. Shortly after Shantina was found, authorities named her husband as a person of interest. Detectives got a tip that Mitchell was at a home in Flint. That's where he was taken into custody in the early hours of this morning. He um, came out peacefully with no, no problem or anything like that. Came out and then was brought back here to the uh, police department, was interviewed by detectives. And then once the interview was completed, the detectives felt that they had enough probable cause to make the arrest uh, for murder in this case. Mitchell is lodged in the Saginaw County Jail. The investigation is ongoing with formal criminal charges pending. In the meantime, two families are grieving the tragic chain of events that played out in this quiet neighborhood. We have two lives here that potentially ruined, unfortunately, where she's deceased. And, um, you know, if it shows that uh, he was responsible for this murder, that's going to be some serious charges brought against him. And so for both families, it's just sad. As for Parker, she called Wednesday the worst day of her life. She knows there are people that are in a lot of pain tonight. I'm just, I'm going to just keep everybody in my prayers and just, I really, and can't nothing good come out this situation. So I can't tell everybody like keep their head up because I know how it is to lose somebody. So. Cousel tells me this is the second homicide of the year in Saginaw Township. Reporting in Saginaw County, James Felton, WNEM, TV5.